FC24 has been out since the end of September and I know for most people we're at the point where the game is starting to feel a little bit repetitive and maybe a little bit bland. Maybe you're constantly playing one month of a save and then quitting or maybe you're not even getting that far you're just looking at kits inside kickoff mode. Today hopefully I can share some of my enjoyment with the game and career mode to help you enjoy a couple more saves before you give up on the game. Some of these tips might seem fairly obvious but some of them I've only learned thanks to playing career mode since 2004 so let's get straight into this. This video. The first thing that I'm going to suggest is actually to stop playing FC24 and go back to some older FIFAs and play a different year's career mode game. This is something I did recently and it really did help me to come back and enjoy FC24. Every year has slightly different gameplay and slightly different features inside career mode so you can definitely find the one that you like the most. For me it was FIFA 17 but I've seen people talk really highly about FIFA 14, FIFA 10 and FIFA 19. You can then come back to FC24 and use sliders to try and recreate the gameplay on newer games. You could even try and build the same team on several different games. This is something I did on this channel very recently. I built a team in FC24, then went back to FIFA 17 to see how they would do in that year's game. If you've not played some of these older games, you can really experience dozens of new FIFA games and then you can see where things improved or things have got worse. Because some of the older FIFA games have things that people really want. You can get full stadium creators if you go back far enough. FIFA 10 has sponsorship and ticket price selections. FIFA 12, 13 and 14 had downloadable leagues with Creation Center, if that's actually still online or working, which I doubt it is. And some of the older games also had way more national teams for better World Cups or leagues that aren't even close to being an FC24, so leagues like Czech Republic, Colombia, Chile and Russia. After you've played your older FIFA, come back to FIFA 24 and I promise you, you'll enjoy this year's career mode a lot more. This year's gameplay is okay, but the menus are so much better, there's a lot more to do inside career mode even if you wouldn't expect that to be the case and I promise you, you will enjoy it a ton more. If you don't want to go back to an older FIFA or you can't afford to buy one, then just pick a fun challenge that isn't super serious inside FC24. Challenge saves can be really fun, but sometimes something slightly less realistic and more personal is actually the better idea. It's something I try to do in nearly every single save that I upload to this channel. I've had a team where every single player had at least 75 aggression. I've tried to rebuild some former Wonder Kids careers and I've tried to break some long-standing league records. These are probably the best and easiest little challenges that you can do. You could try to break Shearer's Premier League goals record, which is about 260. You could try to beat Messi's 91 goals in a calendar year with a single player. You could break Vardy's 11 goals in 11 games that he did in 2016, or even Luis Suarez's 10 goals in one calendar month, which has never been matched in the Premier League. These records are super easy to keep track of and they also give you a nice challenge that isn't too long and you can just focus on having one really good player that you're doing it with. You could even go back onto an older FIFA game, which of course was our first tip, set a record for yourself and then try to beat it on this year's game. You could do something fun like trying to score as many free kicks as possible with Leighton Baines on FIFA 12, come back to this year's game and try and beat that record with someone like Trent Alexander-Arnold. It would be a cool idea and I think that would be something that would definitely keep at least two of your career modes getting boring. Another thing that I think definitely stops career mode being boring is create a club. It's one of the least used new features in career mode recently, but it can still be quite fun. The kit combos might be a bit weird, the general customization might be limited compared to Ultimate Team, but creating a club from a small town near you and building them up to the top is still a really good way to stop boredom. You could create a club based on the town that's near you. I know a lot of people did this when I was growing up. It could be a good way to get the AI involved in your career mode as well. You could create the first AI powered club. The AI could decide your tactics, your club name. It could even decide transfers all the way throughout your entire career mode based on the information you're putting in. This basically makes you have either an assistant manager, a director of football, or even you could be the assistant manager while the AI is the full manager. It would be a really cool idea and I've proven in recent videos that ChatGPT is actually better than me at picking a team. So if you're struggling with FIFA, that could be a really good idea for you. Something else I've talked about a lot is realistic restrictions. This is a good way of making your career mode a little bit tougher and that also helps things stop getting boring. Realistic restrictions don't have to be tough to keep track of. Serie A, for example, are allowed to sign any three non-EU players every two years. They're super easy to keep track of and you can basically do it in your head. If you want something a little bit more complicated, have a look at my MLS video because of course they have that famous list of MLS rules that include salary caps, having player restrictions and not being able to sign players over a certain value. 
If you're finding career mode too easy, then you could definitely follow some rules for a realistic challenge. You might be wondering why actually restricting the save will make the game less boring. Well, just think about it. Most of the rules that exist in real life exist to make the league more fair. We just mentioned it earlier that having a slightly tougher career mode will make the save less boring. So having a slightly more fair career mode will also make the save less boring because it will be slightly more challenging. A lot of the rules also help to improve the nation's national team quality. So if you want to do a club and country, then realistic restrictions is a really good way of doing it. Of course, the worst part about this is that the AI teams don't follow any of these rules, so it can be frustrating to see someone going out and signing 20 Brazilians in the Polish league, which is absolutely not allowed. So our fifth tip today is to try something completely different. Some of my favourite saves that I've ever done on any FIFA game have come from trying something totally different to what I usually do. I mean, I've done hundreds of saves where I've tried to get a team from the English League 2 to the Premier League, but I remember my one save with FC Seoul so much more. The save was all about trying to win the Asian Champions League with a fully Korean team. It was a totally different challenge in a totally different league on a totally different continent. Of course, one of the most famous examples of a totally different league at the minute is the Saudi Arabian League. No one really used this until this year, so if you haven't already given that a go, why not choose one of the smaller teams, sign five or six massive name players, give yourself a transfer takeover before you begin it, and that will be a really fun save, even if it is only a short term one because all your players will start to retire. If you're feeling super bored with career mode, why not even try combining a couple of the tips from this video? You could do a fully realistic creator club save in a league you've never used on an older FIFA, and that could be the exact save that you'll remember forever. Who knows, you could be 80 years old and be talking about the time that you made Liverpool United on FIFA 22, played it fully realistically, got them from League 2 all the way to the Premier League. It could really be the exact save that you need. But if you are struggling with FIFA, then there's absolutely nothing wrong with taking a break. This is my last tip, that a lot of my best saves have come after I've had a week or two weeks playing a totally different game. I remember a few years ago, I was getting bored of FIFA 19. I went, I played a couple of Assassin's Creed games, I played Call of Duty multiplayer for a bit, came back and all of a sudden, FIFA hadn't updated, nothing had changed, but I was enjoying it a lot more. This meant I was willing to go hardcore in on the MLS rules and I played one of my favourite saves of all time with the Toronto Whitecaps. In fact, I enjoyed it so much, it kind of inspired me to make this entire channel just so that I could talk about the MLS rules that I was using in my one career mode that I did just because I took a small break from playing the game. And that is my ultimate tip. If you aren't enjoying something, of course, you don't have to play it. Instead, you could maybe watch my career mode videos, or you could play Ultimate Team or Pro Clubs, even kick off with some of your friends. You don't have to keep playing career mode if you really are finding it boring. But thank you for watching. Hopefully, at least one of these will help you enjoy career mode again. Even if it's only a little bit, you play one or two more saves because of this video. I really do appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Cheers and goodbye.